Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really gonna like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Warren Buffett, quite simply the greatest investor of all time, is a fan of index funds. He's been quoted in the past recommending that the average investor should invest in the S&P 500 index because that is the best bet versus trying to go out and research on your own. He's recommended this as the best bet for the average investor who may be trying to pick stocks on their own but may not have the knowledge and the research capabilities or the time to pick the right stocks. And it's also better than going out and paying a fund manager a very high fee just to try and beat the market when 80 to 90 percent of fund managers actually can't beat the market. He's even mentioned this strategy as a strategy for himself or rather for his wife once he's no longer able to pick stocks on his own or once he passes. He stated that once he does pass away that any money that's passed down to his wife will be invested into an S&P 500 index fund. And that could be the SPDR, which is ticker symbol SPY, or the Vanguard S&P 500 index with a ticker symbol VOO. Warren Buffett also once made a $1 million bet that fund managers wouldn't be able to beat the market. And there were very few that took him up on this bet, but the few that did take the bait, they actually over a 10 year period were unable to beat the market. And so the million dollars that Warren Buffett won from the fund managers that were willing to take that bet, that money was donated to a charity. However, Warren Buffett himself has never actually invested in an index fund. Now Warren Buffett is a stock picker, or you can call him a researcher, or you can call him an investor into good businesses. And so over the time period that he's been investing since 1965, he's been able to average a 20% gain in the market every year just by picking stocks and purchasing other companies that he felt were good businesses. However, over that same time period, the S&P 500 has only averaged 10%. Now I say only as if 10% is not an actual great gain in the market. However, when you're Warren Buffett and you're able to find great businesses at a discount and invest in them for the long term, and you're able to gain over a 20% average over a 50 year period, then yes, you as Warren Buffett, you should definitely continue to do what you're doing to invest and find great businesses at a discount and that will have a great return over the long term. However, Warren Buffett being one of the wealthiest, if not currently the wealthiest person in the world, you are not Warren Buffett. So your best bet and his recommendation for you as the average person would be to invest in an index fund like the S&P 500 because not only do you have the lowest fees compared to paying an active fund manager, but you're going to get the average of the market which 80 to 90 percent of investors, including professionals, cannot beat the market. So because of his ability to beat the market by picking individual stocks and buying individual businesses, you can see why he's never invested in an index fund until now. It was recently announced that Berkshire Hathaway has invested about $25 million into two index funds. And those two index funds are the ones I mentioned at the beginning of this video. That's the SPDR S&P 500 index with the ticker symbol SPY and the Vanguard S&P 500 index fund with ticker symbol VOO. And combined there was a total of about $25 million split between those two funds invested by Berkshire Hathaway at the end of the fourth quarter. Now unfortunately with big investors like Warren Buffett, you're only able to see what those companies have invested in once every quarter. And so the purchases could have been at the end of the fourth quarter, just to give you a little indication of what they probably plan on purchasing over the first quarter of the year. And we won't know until the first quarter ends how much more of the S&P 500 index funds he may have purchased or potentially sold. Now it is my belief that over the past week because the S&P 500 and the stock market as a whole has dropped by over 10%, I'm pretty sure that Warren Buffett, as well as many others, and myself, have invested more into the S&P 500 because you're essentially getting a discount when the stock market drops by a significant amount like 10% over the course of five business days. So there are two reasons I believe that Berkshire Hathaway and Warren Buffett have invested in the S&P 500 index fund. The first reason for Berkshire Hathaway is that they have a lot of cash on hand. 
And as you may know, if you've watched any of my videos talking about savings accounts, the interest rates for savings accounts have been slowly declining over the past year. And in fact, the interest rates are near the lowest that they've ever been in history. And so having a lot of cash on hand and having low interest rates is not a good recipe for your money to be able to gain more money by holding it into a savings account. So it would be better to invest that money into the stock market or an index fund versus holding cash for a very long time. Now the reason Berkshire Hathaway and Warren Buffett and probably many other hedge funds and institutional investors are holding hordes of cash is because the market was at an all time high and we've been on a long bull run since the financial crisis about 10, 11 years ago. Actually about 12 years ago, if you look at the very top of 2008 before the market started to drop, then one, they're expecting the market to drop at some point, whether it's just because of the long bull run, just to have a market correction, or because of the coronavirus, which is causing a, a big stir in the market and fear that companies won't have the same type of earnings that they've had in the past because of the coronavirus. So you have the combination of the coronavirus plus a very long bull market, and then you get what we had last week during the last week of February where there are a lot of investors selling and the market dropped about 10% in just five business days. And that's just the market as a whole and the S&P 500 index as a whole. There are individual stocks like airline stocks where the average in the airline industry has been over 20%. So having a 20% drop in a specific sector or a 10% drop in the market as a whole, if you're a long-term investor and you're not retiring anytime soon, then buying the dip, as they would say, or buying those index funds at a discount would be a great idea if you do have some cash on hand. And so I do predict that once those first quarter purchases are made available to the rest of the world, we will see that they probably bought more of the S&P 500 index funds and maybe even bought more into some of the stock holdings that they already have to take advantage of the discount from last week. And also because it is the S&P 500 index fund or a very large index fund like that, it is very easy to get in and out of that index fund because there's so much money flowing in and out pretty much every day that it is liquid enough to where if they were to sell all of their S&P 500 index fund, just within a few business days, they'll have enough cash to then use that cash to purchase other stocks that they're really interested in, or maybe even a whole business if they have the ability to acquire a business at the right price. Now, the second reason I believe that Warren Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway have invested in the S&P 500 index fund is based on what he mentioned. He did mention once he retires or maybe once he passes away that he would invest in an S&P 500 index fund. So this may be the first signal that Warren Buffett is actually nearing retirement. Now, if Warren Buffett were to invest that same $25 million into the S&P 500 index funds that he purchased with his personal account, even with the market drop of about 10% over the course of the past week, the dividends alone from that large of a purchase would get him about $450,000 to $500,000 per year just from the dividends. Now for most people, $450,000 to $500,000 per year is plenty of money to live on even if you're a billionaire. Now Warren Buffett probably isn't your typical billionaire because I've seen stories written where they've talked about where he actually lives in the same home that he originally purchased before 1965. So they don't seem to be big spenders despite being some of the wealthiest people on the earth. Now going back to the Berkshire purchases of the index fund, considering these are actually rather small purchases for Berkshire Hathaway, and yes, I say $25 million is a small purchase, but that's only because Berkshire Hathaway typically invest double digit billions of dollars into a company when they do make a major purchase. So that's another reason I do believe that they'll probably continue to buy more of the S&P 500 index fund if they're not able to find a company that they can invest in or a company that they can completely acquire 100% of the assets or at least a majority stake of over 50%. However, I still believe that this is probably a sign that he is definitely getting near retirement. 
And if you know anything about the fire community, I can guess that the fire community is very proud of Warren Buffett sticking to his own advice and saying that he's gonna invest in the S&P 500 index fund or a total stock market index fund once he retires because that's what the fire community does as well. All right, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.